first recording about webrecorder.io. Webrecorder is a web archiving tool. It is not a screen recording tool. Uh, it instead makes captures of web pages that are interactive. Anything you see or launch on the web page will be in your web archive and accessible later. So to use Web Recorder, you need to log in to a free account. Um, I have one already, obviously. Um, let's see. Put this in. So when I log in, I see a list of the collections I've made already. I also see a convenient way to start my capture here at the top. I'm going to capture the website rhizome.org. Let's make a new collection. So I'll call this new collection for this demo. I'm going to make it public, which means other people can see it when it's complete. Uh, by default, it's private, but I can make it public here. I'm going to create. I'm going to start the capture by using that blue button on the right. And I'm scrolling down with my mouse. I, in the right, you can see if more content is being captured. So the red light is blinking. It's counting up as it goes. Again, I'm scrolling down. I can continue to go through the website and get, um, get it page by page. And let's go ahead and look at a couple social media feeds because Web Recorder does well with social media. So let's go to Instagram first and click on that shortcut. And again, it's going up. I'm going to dismiss this. I'm going to use something called autopilot. On the right here, there's a button. And this is a behavior that is pre-programmed to scroll down for you. Uh, sometimes it will also open each post for you and um, get the comments and so on. In this case, in this current version of Instagram, unless you log in, um, what you are getting simply is um, the thumbnails. So I'm going to end autopilot here. And... I am going to use the back button and go back to web uh, go back to rhizome.org and let's go here to the Twitter feed for Rhizome and we're going to use autopilot again up the upper right hand corner start autopilot and here you'll see that it's opening each tweet it's getting the embedded media or you know the images in the tweet as well and um, as this goes through, I'm, you know, sitting back and not touching the mouse. So we can talk about a few other things with regards to Web Recorder uh, while we're while we're watching this go. Uh, Web Recorder is a tool that it's free to use. Uh, you will get five gigabytes of storage for free with your standard user account. If you'd like more um, space uh, and un unlimited access in terms of bandwidth you can become a supporter. Up here in the upper right, there's a support us um, link. There's also a help link and a link to report a bug on any page. So in the interest of time, I'm gonna end autopilot here and the behavior stopping. Also, when you use autopilot, there's a user guide specifically about it. So if you do have any questions, that's a good place to start. So let's go use the back button again to go back to rhizome.org. And we'll get, let's see, just another page or two. Community. And on these pages, like there isn't a specific behavior beyond um, just scrolling down, just auto scroll. So again, I launched autopilot and it goes to the bottom of the page and it says it's done. So let's stop this capture. On the upper left hand corner, I have the capturing button that turns to stop when I mouse over it. I'm going to stop. And now in my collection manager view, I can see all the pages that were um, captured while I was making my collection. So I chose one of them and I'm looking at this now. I can go back and forth. Um, it looks like this wasn't collected via that URL, so I can patch it. Up here on the upper left, the browsing button, you can go to patch. And now it is going out to get the page that was missing. So now that that's been collected, we're going to stop the patch. And let's go here 
and look at this and we can navigate within the site or patch whenever something's missing. All right, so I'll we'll stop this and let's look at some of the tweets that we got and can open the tweets, see the image, see the comments, and we can use the eye on the left here and go down. Let's, let's go ahead and look at the Instagram capture we did as well. We can do that and we can scroll down and see the images. So I'm going to stop browsing. In the next video, I'll show you a bit about how to manage your collections, including making lists, describing your collections, and sharing options. So please stay tuned and check out the second video. Thanks.